Hello friends, in today's video we are going to transfer old 8mm tapes from this old camcorder. We're going to turn them into digital files on our desktop so we can enjoy those videos in a different format. Super simple, there's a couple of things you'll need. Let's jump into it. Okay, so the very first thing you're going to need obviously is a camcorder and some 8mm tapes. Next up, we're going to need a 3.5 millimeter male to RCA cable. Now, typically these cables do come with camcorders, but just in case you don't have any of these accessories, I will link everything in the description below. Next, you're going to need this video capture cable from Elgato and a laptop or a PC. I'm using MacBook today, but PC will work just fine for this tutorial also. So let's just hook everything up. On your old camcorder, there should be an AV out. I'm using this Sony Handycam Vision. It's actually my neighbor's and I'm getting the video off of this to put on DVD for her. But I couldn't find the RC output for a while. Then I realized it's actually on the very front of it. This little pouch here kind of pops off. If you can see that. The RC output is right here in the center. So the first thing we want to do is hook up our 3.5 millimeter male to RCA cable into the AV out. Next, we want to plug in our RCA cable into our Elgato cable. We just match all the colors. Super simple. Now we are ready to input the Elgato cable into our laptop or PC if you're using a PC. Now I am using this USB to USB-C adapter because MacBook. So once we got everything plugged in here, we are now ready to download the Elgato software. So go to elgato.com. Once you're on the Elgato website, you're going to want to come over here to downloads and then scroll all the way down until you see video capture, which is right here. Now I already have this downloaded on my desktop, so it'll just take a second. This software is free, by the way. So I'm working with Mac, so I would download the Mac here, but if you're operating under a PC, there should be a PC version also. So once you have that downloaded, you're going to open it up and it's going to look a little something like this. So when you open up video capture, we got a couple of options here. We can name our movie. So I'm just going to call it Kate's birthday. And then how long is this movie? I'm not sure how long this movie is, but I know that the tape that's in the camcorder is 180 minutes. So I'm just going to leave it at 180. Next, we go to continue. Now we got a couple of options to choose from here. Because we're using the RCA cable, we're going to make sure that that's selected. And because the original aspect ratio of this 8mm tape is 4x3, we're going to leave it at 4x3. Now on this page, we can actually check that everything is working properly before we start recording. So what's happening here is essentially the Elgato video capture is mirroring exactly what's playing on the camcorder in real time. So I want to check the audio. I want to make sure that the video looks okay and everything's working. So I'm just going to hit play on my camcorder. And as you can see, it's mirroring everything perfectly and we have some audio levels coming up. You might notice here, the audio level is coming in on one channel. That's because it was recorded in mono 30 years ago. So everything is working, everything looks good. Now we can move on to the next page and actually record our video. So what you want to do before you start recording your video is make sure you hit start recording on the Elgato screen first and then hit play on your camcorder. That way you are not missing any of the magic. So I'm going to hit record here and then I'm going to hit play. So let's just say for the sake of this tutorial, we have recorded the whole cassette or we've recorded everything that's on the cassette that we want to capture. We can then go ahead and stop the recording here. And that brings up this next screen where we can trim off parts of the video that we don't want. For this example, I'm just going to say that we want all of it. So I'm going to show you how this file is actually stored on your desktop. So I'm going to hit continue. And then I can choose from any of these three options how I want the video to play back. I'm going to choose QuickTime. And just like that, we've converted old 8mm tape that hasn't been seen in 25 years into a digital file that we can now share with our family and friends. So to access that file on your desktop, if you're using a MacBook, just go to the Spotlight search, type in movies. And right there, you'll see that Kate's birthday is saved as an MP4 video file into our movies folder. Now, you should probably note that these files can get pretty heavy pretty fast. So make sure you have enough storage on either an external hard drive or just on your laptop in general. So there you have it. That is the quickest and easiest way to transfer 8mm tape into a digital format. If you enjoyed this video, if you found it helpful, give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you're not subscribed already, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.